Hello and welcome to Knife Chats, a channel where we discuss the history of cutlery as well as offer reviews on affordably priced knives for the user and collector alike. Without further ado, let's see what today's video is about. A few years ago I made a video on this knife. It's uh, one of those souvenir knives for Switzerland made by Wenger. It's one of the last knives that they made this is an evo 10 cow knife and it's like one of my favorite vanger knives if not my favorite vanger knife of all time uh, among other things that i like about it is the fact that it is just uh, an evo 10 so it's a two layer knife but it's the one that comes with a nail file the evo 11 comes with a, a small clip blade I was more interested in the nail file, which made it even cooler that it had the right tool for these scales. And the other thing that I really like on it is the corkscrew over the uh, uh, over the uh, screwdriver. I like this uh, corkscrew more than the screwdriver. So this is like uh, Wenger was reading my mind when they made this knife, and it's like so cool. It's got the cow scales. It's the Evo 10, very lightweight, 85 millimeters overall, and it's probably my favorite finger knife. And I thought, how cool is this? I've got a cow knife. And I thought, man, I don't think I could come up with a better cow knife. Well, I was wrong. I came across this little puppy. And now time for the big reveal. It's by Victorinox, and it's the Yodelehi Moo Cow Knife from 2015. I didn't even know it existed, but is this cool or not? It's 58 millimeters overall, so it's a classic SD, meaning you got the little scissors. and your little pin blade and the nail file. And I think I have just found my favorite 58 millimeter classic SD. The Yodelehi Moo Cow Knife by Victorinox. Just fantastic. Uh, and I have the other cow knife to go with it. How cool is that? Did not even know this came out, 2015. And now it's one of mine. The Wenger Cow Knife and Yodelehi Moo. So happy. Thought I'd follow up with a quick slideshow with uh, some pictures of the two knives uh, and also some pictures of the Yodelehi Moo all on its own. And so here you have the 85 millimeter at the top and the 58 millimeter at the bottom. And uh, you can see the wonderful color and full scales on the uh, Yodelehi Moo. And a comparison of the uh, blades. And a view of both knives uh, opened all the way up. And you can also notice the difference in the uh, toothpick and tweezers on the two knives. Here you have the Yodelehi Moo on the back side. And you have the little cow up here singing and, or yodeling on top of the Alps, obviously the Swiss Alps. And uh, I love how it's Yodelehi and then Moo in red. And a front side, again, with uh, showing the uh, the cow singing and, and his little green later hose and, and everything else. And it's just a really a, a nice piece of artwork. I was really happy with this knife. Like I said, it's probably my favorite 58 millimeter uh, classic SD. Another view with everything opened up. You can tell I just got it. It's still got the oil from the factory and everything else. And it came with that little black uh, leather case that uh, I got it in. So. That was kind of cool too. 
And here we have the cow and Yodelehi moo all over again. So I hope you like that. Um, if you have a classic SD that you find as your favorite, uh, let me know about it and let others know about it. Uh, the classic SD, I mean, it's probably not only one of the most used, but it's probably one of the most used or, or most collected knives in the entire world. And you can see why with uh, uh, Victorinox coming out with uh, 12 limited editions every year. And uh, this one from 2015 somehow slipped by me, and uh, I really do like it. It's just a, a fantastic artwork on it and just a, a terrific little knife. The Classic SD by itself is fantastic, but when you have scales like this on it, how can you argue with it? Thanks for watching. Thanks for visiting. If you like this video, please share it with a friend and consider subscribing to Knife Chats. To be notified of future episodes, don't forget to ring that bell. As always, your comments are welcome and insults are cheerfully ignored. Remember, you're only as sharp as your knife.